This one is really simple. You want to find the building to the far northeast and the roof access. You just want to blow that up with the explosive gel and you get the trophy. Now you want to head over to Poison Ivy's hideout. And if you look southwest down in the water, you're going to see that small cubby. You're going to throw a freeze blast down there and fly down there. Um, if you get it close enough, you won't have to use a bat claw. Um, if you do, then pull yourself closer until you get to that turret. You want to disrupt it and then pull yourself all the way uh, towards there. Climb up on the uh, ledge and get the trophy. From your last trophy, you want to go to the building to the south, look for uh, the pool on the roof, and there's going to be some bad guys. Whoop them up real quick, and you'll find that weakened wall, and bust through there and get that. Head toward the Gotham Casinos, and on the west side of the Clap Street, you want to go to the, like, the balcony area. Um, and you're going to find that pressure pad right there. You want to U-turn. Get your line launcher out, shoot it across over there, and you're going to bust through these weakened walls, and the trophy is going to be behind that. Alright, west of the casino on that building, you're going to find a pressure pad. You fly to your second one, and then fly to your third one. That's going to open up this trophy, uh, the cage that's holding it, and you'll be able to get that trophy. Alright, this next one is a level down from the last trophy that you got. Um, it's a wreck puzzle. You want to go across that grating, drop down, use the line launcher across, and you're going to wire walk. You have to have the line launcher upgrade. And then you hit the wreck, and you head back up to this trophy. I'm going to grapple up to the top of the casino and there's going to be a large cage. A trophy that goes up and down inside. You want to slide in there and time it right to where you grab that trophy. North of the GCPD building. Um, this one's a little difficult. The three question marks. You throw a freeze blast down there. And you can use your back claw to get close to these guys. Um, and you want to place explosive gel on each mark. While I'm taking my sweet time to do this, I want to tell you guys uh, that I am sorry for taking my sweet time with this. Uh, 440 items is uh, a lot. Um, a lot of grinding. I, I don't really see anybody that's uh, done all of this. Um, probably IGN has, just because probably more than one guy is doing it. But yeah, um, sorry it's taking so long. The battery should be up later on tonight. Um, and if it's not, it'll be up tomorrow for sure. And, uh, you know, we got all that Call of Duty content, so please check that out. Spread the word on that. Um, kind of a wasted effort just because we're not so big, uh, for people to say, hey, Call of Duty stuff, check it out. I mean, there's a lot of big names with Call of Duty. And we're not one of them. Anyways, uh, I just got a copy of Saints Row 3, and... I'm going to be covering that pretty soon, so check that out. Alright, so you want to step on the pressure pad, and you hold down the button to detonate in order to blow them all up at the same time. And that will get you your trophy. Alright, this one is super simple. It's on the same building. There's going to be a pressure plate, and you use the back claw and just grab the trophy. And since you're getting a super easy one, you're about to get a super hard one. I start from the 
north side of the GCP building, uh, you want to glide down, dive, and then you want to pull up and hit that pressure pad. Immediately grapple, and you will get the trophy. Now you want to go to the collapsed bridge and go underneath. You're going to see a pressure pad. Whip out your remote control battering, and you're going to hit all three of the periods on these question marks. You want to use boost so you don't run out of time. And once you hit that third one, it's going to unlock the cage, and you can get that trophy. Next one's a little tricky, but uh, not hard at all. Um, there are six question marks in total. The bottom ones, you're going to place explosive gel on. Alright guys, I've got like nine different DLC codes I posted in bulletins, letting you guys know that I'm going to give away soon. Uh, once I put out a video stating that I'm going to give them away, uh, if you're not subbed, you're not eligible. So if you're watching this video and you're not subbed yet, you might want to sub. Alright, so with all that done, you want to grapple to the top. Quick fire battering on those question marks. Hold the detonation button and blow all three of those at the bottom up. And that will unlock this trophy. Alright, from my location, you want to look for the Mercy Island water billboard. Um, and then you're going to find this mine maze. You want to disrupt the mines that I'm disrupting in the video. And just take the path that I take uh, inside this maze, and you're going to get that trophy. On a rooftop southwest of the Gotham City Olympus, just walk on three pressure pads and uh, get a trophy. That might be the easiest one in the game. Alright, on the rooftop west of the GCPD building, you're going to find a security panel. Use your cryptographic sequencer and enter the password deliberate. And that's going to unlock it and you can collect your trophy. Alright, for this one, there is a balcony right in front or below the Gotham Olympus uh, building and a weakened wall. So hit that weakened wall and get your trophy. Yet again, a really easy trophy coming up. Um, on the Olympus building, I believe it's on the east side, you just find a pressure pad when it turns green, step on it. And you get the trophy. Obviously, you don't step on it when it's red, guys. Alright, on top of the prawn shack building, there's a wreck puzzle. You want to step on the pressure pad. And you want to pull the ball, ball towards the wreck. Or, I don't know, that little machine that pulls it. Um, step off the pad so the ball gets stuck. And then you just pull it back over and grab it. From my location on the map, you're going to find the radio tower. You want to grapple to that middle section and the trophy is just sitting there for you. Right outside of the GCBD building, um, you can use that wreck to open that door right there. Or this is when I exited out of uh, the area the first time. You just put explosive gel on the wall and you bust it open and there's a trophy behind there. Alright, from the tall building north of the GCPD building, uh, you want to look down and you'll find that weakened wall, and you want to just glide and slam through it, and the trophy is on the other side. Alright.
All right, under the southwest stairs in front of the GCPD building, there's a trophy that sits inside a small room. You want to jump to the ledge to the west to access the security panel. Um, look in the room and hack the panel using the password parking. And then you're just going to jump back over to collect the trophy. Behind the GCPD building, there's some debris in the water. Just stand on there, use the bat claw, and get the trophy. Really simple, in front of the GCPD building, you're going to find that uh, tunnel that you can either crawl in or you can be lazy and bat claw it. Alright, this trophy is hanging on the bottom of their drawbridge. You want to create a freeze blast to get underneath it, and then you use a bat claw to grab the trophy. Alright, this one's a bit tricky. From my location, you're going to find that pressure pad, and you're going to start your glide, hit this next one, and hold on to A once you hit that to glide over again. And you hit that one, immediately grapple up. Then you want to turn around and fly the opposite way. Go up there and you'll get the trophy. You want to go to the boat shelter southeast of the GCPD building. Uh, use a freeze blast and whip out your back claw. And you're going to use the hooks to pull you underneath there. Right, now that you're at the gate, you want to get your cryptographic sequencer out, and the password is going to be intelligence. Now you're just going to pull yourself over the trophy and collect it. You want to start on the southeast uh, end of the GCPD building and glide off and uh, you're going to go into this cage and make sure you don't hit the red question marks obviously and that will get you the trophy. Alright this is one of the tougher ones. You want to get your remote control battering and you want to time it right to where you throw it in there and then put the boost on and hit the period. Now the vents will stay open, so you want to throw another battering in there, and you want to slow it down and make this turn and hit the period. Alright, this is a simple memory game. You stand on a pressure pad and watch how they light up and you're gonna hit them again in that same order. And you're gonna do this, gosh, the sequence. There's gonna be three sets of uh, sequences and you're gonna have to hit them all. And that's gonna unlock the trophy. Your next trophy is pretty much in the same general area. Uh, there's those pads that are in cages. You're going to glide down and step on it. And you want to grapple out of it. And you need to grapple boost so you don't touch the, uh, the ground. Fly back around and you're going to land on the next one. Grapple back up and grapple boost again. And then you're going to do the same thing for the third one.
Alright, this is the crane in Music Mile. It's the same thing as the one in Industrial District. You want to use the wreck to drop that crane down there and pull up the trophy and use the back claw to collect it. Inside of Crank Co. Toys, where Bane's at, um, you're gonna see a desk back there, and you have to use a bat claw to collect it. All right, now we're going inside the GCPD building. Um, this is by the front door. Um, if you go up above, there's three pressure pads. Uh, what you want to do is land on each one without touching them. Um, so you're gonna use a line launcher. For the third one, you want to switch directions, and you want to slow down because this one's tough to get. And that unlocks it. Towards the back entrance of the GCPD building inside, you're going to find that electrical current. You want to send your remote control battering through it. You turn and go under that grate. You're going to head back towards the front. You're going to hang a right. And there's going to be an opening that you can send that battering through. Uh, behind that is the fuse box, and you're going to blow that out, and this is going to open up that door. And then you go over there and get the trophy. From the back of the JCPD building, um, you go down the stairs and you hang a right and there's going to be a small room and this trophy is sitting on a desk. If you're coming from the front, you need to use the freeze blast on the vents to freeze those and get back there. Alright, down the hallway you're going to find a security panel. You want to use a, your uh, cryptographic sequencer and enter the password custody. That's going to open up uh, the area. And then you're gonna blow this wall with an explosive gel. You're gonna take your time doing it. Oh, there you go. Blow that up. And get your trophy. And that's it for Amusement Mile. How does it feel, Wayne? To stand on the very stones that ran with your parents' blood. Do you feel sad? Bruce. Full of rage. Or does that outfit help bury your feelings? Hiding your true self. You become what you've always fought against. And I will stop you. I have powerful friends, Batman. This is just the beginning. Why do you work alone, Batman? I believe you enjoy the loneliness. I assume that you thought yourself untouchable. Looks like Batman himself is exiting the building. Mayday! Well, as you can see, no one is untouchable. <laughs> We are the future of Arkham! We are the future of Gotham! If you solve the room ahead, you save them. If you don't, then they die. You must show you are willing to take a life to save the world. You cannot stop me. Soon I will command forces beyond your comprehension. Are you going to be a good boy and give up nicely?